Okay, one second here guys, we're going to be testing our audio really quick, make sure everything's up to snuff. So I got to go to the page here really quick. Just make sure everything is running smoothly. Alright, perfect. Seems like everything was running well on that. Welcome to the first stream in which I have a camera on. I know I've done videos with it in the past, but hello, this is my face. If you haven't watched my previous videos and had to look at this thing through the whole thing, I typically don't do this, so, you know, again, welcome. Uh, today we're going to be playing No Man's Sky. I've played this game before a long, long time ago, back when it was still its original release. And it was a lot easier to break then. Obviously, there was a lot of whiplash, which is kind of are the consumer's fault on that for pushing them to release so much earlier than they should have. But it's okay. There's been a lot of updates since I've last played. I've gone through most of the tutorial here. I didn't want you guys to be stuck seeing, like, the boring stuff of, like, fixing up your ship and things like that. I actually also already have a new ship. So for those players who haven't, you know, been able to play the game before or anything like that it's 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 going to be different i i wanted to not include the opening sequence because it's one of the most important sequences and kind of sets up the layout for the rest of the game i'm not done with the tutorial yet but we've got there i've just kind of finished setting up my makeshift base here but yeah there probably won't be a lot of talking in this stream there probably won't be a lot of that feel free to interact with me give me some tips tell me what to do uh, the last time I played this game was back when there was the ability to break it in the sense of you could go to a space station, buy things from one pod, like one, one traveler, and you could sell it to the machine and buy things from the machine to sell back to travelers, and it would generate a profit because the ratios of like the supply, demand, and all of that were way off and not well calculated. You can still kind of do that to break the game, but you have to flip back and forth between two different universes now, and you have to find like ones that are really good to do it with, and it's expensive in general just for having to use your warp drive over and over again. But... That's that. So, without further ado, why don't we hop into this here really quick. Like I said, as you can see, I, uh, I, for whatever reason, decided to make my base on a winter tundra. I'm hoping to run into Santa Claus. That's not my ship. Actually, there's a space station right over yonder, which is actually the real reason why I chose to build my base here. No other reasons. We go in here, we'll heal up real quick, because I definitely just hurt myself like an idiot. But yeah, not much to see yet. This is the first base. Um, I wish I still had my original save file from way back when I originally played this game before all the updates, but unfortunately they removed all of those capacities. So first we will bump up our life support really quick. I need some oxygen. Alright, there's some oxygen that way. But yeah, without further ado, why don't we hop into this, see what's going on. Check some stuff out here really quick. Yeah, we're gonna extract those plans right up. New building for research unit. Carbon nanotubes, magnetized ferrite. I just sold all of my magnetized ferrite, which is kind of tedious, not gonna lie. But fortunately, my base is very rich with the resources it's around, and finding some ferrite dust will not be hard. Saw, so, dude, don't hurt me. Uh, you're too tough for me to mine right now. 
That's okay. There are other things of ferrite to mine in the area. Get that sodium. Gonna need it. Alright, so... I know there... There we go. There's some ferrite dust. Boom. So if you don't know what this game is, it's kind of like a super super highly logical in-depth version of like Minecraft meets space planetary exploration and all of that it's it's incredible to watch it's an incredible experience it's incredible to play too So our goal for this video is I want to have a farm set up. I've already gotten a new ship. It's nothing great. It's still a C-class ship, but it's more of a fighter. Um, I know obviously none of you saw the way I played before. I'm definitely a fighter class. I will shoot all the sentinels and gather all their parts. That's actually how I got super loaded in one of my previous saves was just a constant fighting of sentinels. There should be an oxygen plant somewhere near me. Yeah, it's over there, okay. And it's honestly not hard to make a ton of money in this game. You just have to have a lot of patience. And I do mean a lot of patience. Like for example, this ferrite dust, very cheap, very easy to gather sustenance very easy thing to get but if you run it through your refiner multiple times you get magnetized ferrite which ends up selling for significantly more speaking of I'm gonna need more carbon for that because that thing sucks through carbon there's my oxygen plant be another one yeah over there all right we're gonna head this way it's because I need more oxygen my life supports running pretty low not gonna lie and I do think all of these little rocks here you can even mine these and like something that's even cooler about this game which I think really takes it a step above and beyond so when I first played this game it was before you had the ability to terraform and adding that into a game automatically you're going to get a lot of attention from gamers oh I'm surprised I was able to snag that one not even gonna lie I didn't think I'd be able to finish scanning him alright we have a decent amount of ferrite dust we have a decent amount of carbon Jetpack power surge detected. Ooh, bitch, where? Oh, hold up. So when I pick those up, I gain. I knew you were right there. I saw you too. I feel I feel a little silly right now. Not gonna lie. Alright, well there's a random hole here, and I actually didn't put this one there. So that was neat. But duly noted. Gather some more carbon here really quick. So if any of you have played like idle games where you need one resource to gather another resource to gather another resource to gather another resource, this game follows a very similar principle in which you have to gather a lot of things in order to boost yourself up. You still have plenty of power in you. I'm definitely going to be taking that chromatic metal. 
that in my exosuit really quick. Alright, it says I need magnetized farin. So I have all of this farin dust here. Which is going to give me all of that pure farin. Or pure ferrite. Sorry. Do I have enough to make two of these? No. And carbon nanotubes. I wonder if I can make those right now. go magnetized ferrite Like I said, this game is a lot of waiting. It's just, it's a, it's, it's a redonkulous amount of waiting. So we're actually going to build you. Right here. So I need sodium, carbon nanotubes, and metal plating to build a teleportation module. That sounds important. Yeah, that allows you to travel like from this base to another base anywhere else in the world. Like anywhere else in the universe entirely. Wow, my phone just went off. Oh, it's my boy Llama. Yes, sir. Trying to get him to uh, come and watch the stream or take part in it in any way. He's usually a great addition. He's probably one of the funniest people that I know, so I, I really enjoy playing with him. It's a fun story. We actually started out as co-workers. Never met this guy before in my life. Dude walks in, don't know what it was. Instant friendship. 100% instant. There was like no hesitation or anything. And then, of course, there's my lovely girlfriend messaging me, Dakota. Oh, and if you guys didn't hear, I recently had a kid. Uh, his name is Theodore. He was a very, very cute, very small baby. We were all very excited to see him. Alright, so I needed metal plating, sodium, and carbon nanotubes. I forgot how to make metal plating. What do I need to make metal plating? Ferrite. Oh, ferrite. Ferrite dust. Jesus, it wouldn't be right. Well, let's take a second. Let's go check out my ship here really quick. I think you will all be equally satisfied with my choice in ship. Like I said, this is a fresh slate start, which means I have not in any way upgraded my equipment. The only major upgrade that I have, really, is to my ship. 
and it's not even a major upgrade. This is going to be my C-Class fighter. Very proud of that. And what we're going to do really quick is we're just going to kind of show you some of the mechanics here. So this is what originally got me onto the game. Why I liked it so gosh darn much. We're going to follow these guys out. Because I'm looking to scrap, not even going to lie to you. And I'm actually kind of hoping that they will lead me to the space station. Wow, they are significantly faster than me. I'm hoping they'll lead me to the space station because I haven't found it yet. Yeah, and that's basically one of the biggest highlights of the game, is there's the space exploration. Oh, but wait, hold on. Let me let me actually pull out into space here really quick. I mean, look at that. Look at that. How can you not like this? Actually, where are all the other planets? So that is a... There should be more planets. There we go. Look at that. And those are all completely 100% explorable. There's so much going on. By the way guys, going out here and shooting asteroids is a great way to, yes, mine titanium, mine carbon, mine gold. You can gain so many valuable resources. And this is one of the ways to make a ton of money super easy in the game. You just drive around space and you just shoot shit. So if one of your like main points in this game is to make a ton of money at a very quick pace, this is one of the things you should do first. Collecting these resources is, is crucial to starting out your, your path to becoming rich.
And yes, of course, these are all common resources that I'm getting. But they are all still very important, and they do have a pretty good high sell rate. Very easy to gather, very easy to get. It's honestly just one of the best things that you can get here. Just starting out. Easiest way to make a lot of money really quick. Another really great and easy way to make a lot of money. You'll see once we reach our warp, warp drive capabilities. Once we can warp. We actually end up making a lot more money because you'll see freighters that are being attacked by pirates. Now not only can you kill the pirates and take the resources from them but you can also fight the freighter the hardest part here is being able to land without causing too much damage to your ship And now of course there are the people who will do like a head-on approach, but you're going to see here, I'm going to start taking some damage. I'm coming in way too hot. We're actually going to land right over here. Fun fact too, you always get a free takeoff when you land at a space station. Always a free takeoff. That is why I constantly land here and not somewhere else. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to take everything that we don't need. So we're going to quick transfer you to the starship. No, actually we're going to go to the starship really quick. Now all of this, look, 38,000 units. With and that's just off the silver. 50,000 units. That one not so much. 42,000 units. So we're going to keep our sodium. Obviously we want our navigation data. Always, always, always keep a good stack of carbon on you a hundred percent never do anything less you need a good good stack of carbon oxygen is also a good thing to keep on you we want our magnetized ferrite it's valuable but it's useful to us and I don't think I have any ferrite dust on me or anything which means all the rest of this is stuff that I can sell and I have more to sell over here another fifty thousand units right there Good 50,000 units. Cytophosphate. Never heard of that. Gonna toss that onto the list. Platinum. Another 17,000 units. Now watch this. So as you can see right now, I have almost no money. My units are displayed right here. I have 5,000 units. We're going to go to sell. 
Gonna sell our wheat, sell our cobalt, sell our platinum. And now we're at 242,000 units. And that took me all of what, five minutes? Making money in this game is all about being patient. But anyways, that's not why we're here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start going towards finding our warp drive. So right now we're looking for buried technology. Copper deposit. Boom. Berry technology right there. Not even that far away. And also, in case you guys didn't know, this is a series that I plan on, like, making a full series on. So, I, the number one goal of this series is to get us a high-class freighter, an S-class fighter, find a galaxy that we want to rule, preferably with decent resources. Alright, there are buried technologies here, so what you're going to do is you're going to turn this into your terraforming laser. Boom. And now this terraforming laser ain't no joke either, and I do mean that. It is not a joke. You have to be really careful what you do with it, or you could seriously fuck up a planet that you're living on. This is also an easy uh, get out of get out of weather quick thing to do. Anyways, let's work. Get out of this storm here really quick. The only reason I left in the middle of the storm was because I know that my base is not far away and I can make it without too much damage to myself. And as you can see, you know, it is negative 151 degrees Fahrenheit. I wish I could tell you what that was in Celsius, but all I know is it's real gosh darn cold here. And this is an accurate game too, like with the creatures that it spawns here. So something that you'll notice about all of the creatures, all of the plants, everything. Most of them are accurate. So like on a cold planet, you just saw that creature that we were just by. It has a built up layer of fat. The creators of this game went so far in depth with them that they made it accurate to even to like a physical perspective. And that is so wild to me. But, alright guys. <clears throat> We've been playing for about 30 minutes now. I'm going to cut this stream here. I'll probably be uploading another one. To, like, some of the, just the base, basic bits of this game before I actually got in depth of it. I'm actually doing some research right now myself on, like, some updates and patch notes and... You know, how big of a difference I'm getting myself into from the last time that I played. And I'm going to use that information on the next video to give you guys, like, the ultimate welcome to No Man's Sky. I've 
I was so excited for this game when it came out. I'm still so excited about this game. For those of you who don't know anything about me, space is like my kryptonite. Uh, anything space and you've already got my interest. Kerbal Space Program played that. It's a terrible game. Absolutely love it. 100%. 100%. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We're going to be moving on, doing some research, and I will see everybody here on the next one. Thank you all so much for watching.